Hello and welcome back to Noah's Window. As we start a new week, again we're in the book of Romans and we're in chapter 5. And today we're going to pick up in verse 9 where Paul says, And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. For since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. And I love that phrase. It's repeated twice there. We were enemies, even if we didn't feel like it. We were enemies, but now we're friends of God. I, I think uh, the fact that we would be invited into a relationship mm -hmm. where we could be actually friends with God. And, and, you know, at New Spring, we say all the time, we've said probably thousands of times, it's not a religion, it's a relationship. relationship. Here we have that spelled out for us very clear in the Bible that we do have a relationship with God. You know, Marilyn, when I think about friendship, I think about having things in common because typically that's how that's how friendships build. People discover that they have things in common and they do things together. And they care about one another. <laughs> you know, um, if you if you need something, you call on a friend, and um, and it's really helpful if that friend has the power or the resources to help you with whatever your need is. <laughs> well, I don't want to be trite or sacrilegious here, and I surely don't mean that in, in such a noble text, but, you know, we're accustomed to the term friend request, or at least we were, oh, you know, right. years ago mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. when, when that was just becoming a, a thing on social media. But really, it's really important for us to remember that this friend request that we get is from God. We did not do anything to establish the friendship with Him. He gave His Son in order to establish a friendship with us. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We saw that earlier in this chapter. Yes, and so when we believe, and then we see that phrase again repeated over and over, we've been made right, and it's in that right relationship that gives us that friendship with God. So that's a wonderful way to start the week, to just think about how powerful that is. You know, somebody could look at this and say, well, wait a minute, I thought we were children of God, and, and friendship with God sounds like that's a step short of it. But you know, I think one of the greatest blessings in life is to have a friendship with your child, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, I know of relationships, unfortunately, tragically, where the parents and the children can't be close because somebody has broken off that closeness. They're, they're still parent and child, but there's not a friendship there. It's a very sweet thing to realize that, yes, indeed, we are sons and daughters of God, and we enjoy that filial relationship, the inheritance that we're going to read about later in the book of Romans. But beyond that, even though we're children, we also get to be friends. I think that's very special. You know, I would encourage you to think about what true friendships are like and think about those aspects in relationship to God. You know, for instance, if you have a very, very close friend, you can tell that friend things that you can't, you wouldn't tell anybody else, you know, because you know that closeness. And of course, with God, we have the perfect friend. We can tell God anything. And that's just one aspect. But I would just challenge you today as you meditate on this scripture, just think about the aspects of true friendship and think about them in relationship to the Lord. Right. And, uh, you know, one of the big things with a friend is you, you talk to them, you mm -hmm. spend time with them, uh, you care what they think about whatever is going on in your life. It's, it's just a beautiful relationship. But I, I do love as we get ready to close today, that one of the aspects of that friendship is we're invited to talk to Him. Yes. And that's really what prayer is. Yeah, that's absolutely true. When we realize this is a great time to pray. Yes, let's pray. Oh, Father, thank You so much that Jesus purchased our salvation so that we could be Your friend. And I just pray that You would help us to really realize that today. I pray for each and every one that's watching Noah's Window or listening to Noah's Window today that You would uh, wrap them in your love. Draw them close that they would know how much you love them. I pray that you provide for us all the things that are needed, all the challenges we'll face for each and every one and each and every family. I just thank you for all that you have done and all that you will do. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today on Noah's Window. God willing, we'll be back on Tuesday. Yes, we'll see you soon. God bless.